Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the CMS and Webflow in 2024. So today we're diving into the world of content management systems, CMS and Webflow, which is a powerful feature that enables you to manage and update your website's content with ease. Whether you're building a blog or e-commerce site or even a dynamic portfolio, stick around as I guide you through the steps of using it and let's harness your power of CMS and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section, type Webflow. So Webflow dot com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of your website right away of course if you're logged in you'll find yourself on uh, the dashboard if you're not logged in if you, and even if it's your first time you'll find yourself on a place like this or a page like this i don't know why it took some time to load but it's fine so you'll find yourself on a page like this so if you have an account, you can go here to login to log into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started. It's free to create a new account for free unless you go and choose a plan. Of course, if you're interested to see the pricing, here is it. You can pause it and read this all by your own. This is yearly and monthly for e-commerce also. Here is it. And yeah, so if you don't know anything also about like Webflow, you can scroll down to just have a general idea about it or just to see uh, what it's about. Why not? Uh, before even creating your account once you're logged in or you, of course you can log in or even create an account using google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account and once you're logged in into your account or you just created your account you'll find yourself on all sites or the dashboard right away and to begin of course using things make sure first of all to have a website to start even doing anything uh, to use the CMS and Webflow, you'll need the website. So make sure to have one, of course, how to, if you don't have any, just go and click on create a new site. Choose one of the template that's free. There's this, this four or click on here, view all on this free. And as you can see, you'll find all the free templates in here. And that choose, just choose one that suits you. If you know, if you want to know how to use it. And if you don't know, you can simply go and check from like uh, my website or uh, my channel. Uh, you can go back and check all about other videos on how to use the template if you want to. So here's an example, as we said, to begin we'll use in CMS and Webflow, you'll need to enable it for your projects. When creating new projects, you'll need to select the option which enable it in the project settings. If you're working as an example on an existing, pro uh, an existing project, you can enable the CMS by navigating to the project settings and select the CMS tab. So an example, I I'm, don't remember if you have it here, I'll just go to my website and check first of all if I already have it and or not. Of course, let me just wait for this until it loads. And simply, where's the CMS? It's this one as an example. So just go and click on it. So yeah, it seems like it's working for me. Uh, of course, for you, if it's not working, just go and access the settings and make sure to enable it. As simple as that. Once it's enabled, of course, you'll be able to create some CMS collections. With CMS enabled, you can create like collections and organize and structure your content. Think of CMS collections as database that store different type of content, such as blog posts, uh, uh, products, or even team members. So you can create a new CMS collection and define the fields that each item in the collection will have such as the title, text, image, or category. As you can see, you can even discover the power of Webflow CMS collection. And by watching this video, I guess it's two minutes video that I've already watched once I created the, the account or when it was in their home screen. So as you can see, like they're giving you here everything that you want to know. I didn't watch all of this. I watched like a, just a small video, I guess, which is this intro of dynamic and content or intro to the Webflow CMS. Yeah, I guess this one, it was two minutes. So I guess I watched that's just one for you. As you can see, they'll give you a table of, table of contents of everything that you want to know about CMS. Getting started, CMS collection, designing with collection, modifying collection, CMS collection fields, and even advanced dynamic contents. If you watch all of this, you will probably be mastering this more than me. I will not be as good as you as, as CMS. I'm not even like, I don't know much about this. I just know a little bit about this, but for you, if you watch all of those videos, you will master it for sure, and you will not need anyone to show you more about CMS. So as you can see here, for me, I have the features, T 
team members and blog posts. Of course, you can go and export some, import some settings, add a new features example, add a new team member, or add a new blog post. Here, that's what I have. Of course, I can even create a new collection. As we said before, we'll have just to give it a name, give it a collection URL, and as you can see, we can give it a template. It's a blog post, authors, categories, whatever it is. Of course, if we give it like a template, it will fill normally our uh, lot of information by its own. I don't have to add any fields or something like that. Maybe if it's uh, for listings, as you can see, it will uh, fill everything for you so you don't have to do much just then click on create connection collection as we said and you will be able to add it as you can see on this collection we have no items so we'll be able to add in some content once you create some cms collection it's time to start adding content you can navigate into that just click on it and the panel of course and click on the add items you'll be able to add some items so this is for listen specifically as you can see for this uh, listen we can add items so i'll just click on add five items and as you can see they add five items like random ones as you can see oh, sorry i quit the whole thing so basically you can for you add contents you want to, of course, just click on the same as this you want and add the content. Then, of course, click on add item button to create a new item and enter, of course, the contents for each field based on the defined structure. You can even, with the contents added to your SMS collection, you can now design dynamic templates to display this content on your website. You can create, create some new pages. So go to pages and make sure to create some new ones, of course, for that specific maybe SMS and of course you can create new pages or elements on the webflow designer and even link them to your cms collection of course how you can simply just go again to that and make sure to access its settings and make sure to link it as an example so you can link it specifically to some page maybe i don't know this blog page we can link this page to a specific cmm C uh, cms of course, you can even set up some collection pages. You'll be able, once you finish all of that. So as I said, I'm not like very good at that. So for you, once you do everything that you want, once you do all the edits that you want, customization that you want, make sure to preview the changes. It says everything, everything on the desktop for the tablet users, for the landscapes, mobile users, and even for the portrait. It says everything, everything is working as intended. Yeah that's good job already so you don't have to do anything other than publishing just go and click on publish and publish it on the, the domain that they give you or a domain that you have you can simply go and add it so that, there you have it you successfully learned how to use cms and webflow in 2024 so to create a dynamic and easily manageable website by leveraging cms collection you can organize and update your content efficiently providing a seamless experience for both content creators and website visitors so if you have a question or the specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do it as soon as possible and thank you for watching and happy designing and i'll see you in the next video so goodbye